Hey everyone, welcome to Saturday's What's Possible, in which I play different word games. Um, starting off with Wordle. Uh, let's see what's going on there. I've got a seven day streak, and this is number 889, November 25th. I'm going to start off with my with my least as usual and i'm going to start the play clock and off we go i got a yellow e in second lots of possible words here I'm trying to come up with an inspired second guess And I'm thinking B R O K E broke. Um, usually I try to go with double E's, but um, I am. I'm gonna go with broke. And I got the E in the last, a green E. Now for my third. I am thinking I am thinking C H I D E I am chiding myself for not going with the double well I hope not and press enter oh look at that I got I and a D and an E, a green I, green D and an E. Now this is going to make it easy, I think, hopefully, for a par. I am thinking. You know, there could still be two E's. Hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. And if you hear that whining, it's my dog want, wanting to go out for a walk, which I will as soon as I finish this. I'm wondering, is this a word? E X I D E. Um, if it is, it looks familiar. It sounds familiar. Something to do with e exit. This to me is inspired, but let's see if there's some others. Can't think of anything else that starts with an E. And I could go with that. Or I could go with something like um, like this. This is more inspiring. I am thinking guide. I am more confident about guide than the other one. So, fingers crossed, I'm going to press enter. It is guide! And that was, um, that was a par. I'm at 180 pars uh, compared to 136 birdies. And 27 eagles. Um, trying to get those pars and birdies um, where it really doesn't make a difference with the bogeys that I have 102 and the double bogeys 35. So that's that's my wordle for Saturday. Um, 
in under four minutes. And very happy with the par. Good luck with your play. Have a great weekend. And now let's try Quartal. And I have got it set up with Minty as my first. I'm going to reset the play clock and press enter. Minty, go with fresh. And, and I've got the third. That's going to be M I R T H, but I'm going to go with pluck. And then board, B O A R D. And now now I'm thinking I'm going to get M I R T H mirth. But the fault is going to be tough. And, um, Second is also kind of, uh, it kind of looks tricky. First, I can definitely do some guesses. I'm thinking vouch, V-O-U-C-H. So I'm going to go with vouch, V-O-U-C-H. Um, making sure there's nothing else. No, I think it's going to be vouch. So I'm going to press enter and it's vouch. And then for the second, second, I'm thinking decoy, D E C O Y, and making sure not making any silly mistakes. And I'm going to press enter. And I got decoy. Now I'm definitely going to get the third, but I'm trying to. Um, See, um, I've got three guesses, so I'm trying to see if I can get some more for the fourth. So I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with, uh, I am thinking G N A W, and then just go with S should accept it and that should help me figure out um, where they are positioned yep that's great because I got the G now yellow G and I know the ends not gonna be in the second or the third so now I'm gonna get M-I-R-T-H get it out of the way and for my last guess, I'm going to try and get this fourth one. It is going to be and it's going to be I think in the fourth or fifth ANT X G A N T no W is not gonna be in the first so if I take G towards the end G here If I do T W A N G, and that should be it. Twang. And I've got daily quarter under my belt. Took a little bit longer than usual, four minutes. Um, while I'm doing this, I might as well get the weekly challenge out of the way. Go ahead and play that now. 
go with minty um reset the play clock got it started enter minty fresh go with pluck and board now I think I'm going to try WAV ER waiver. Oh, that's a big help. So, third's going to be MAVEN. First is going to be the first is going to be. G L E A M Gleam. Yes. Now for the second. I think the second is going to be M I M I C Mimic. Go. This is a tough one because you've got two M's and two I's. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yes! Oh, that's a toughie. And I got it. Mimic. Uh, that's a good one. And for the fourth, if I can get the fourth, that uh, would be something. I'm thinking T R O U U T, fish, trout. Um, fingers crossed. I'm not seeing anything with Q and Z and X and Z, J. So, fingers crossed. Yes, in two minutes. How about that? The weekly challenge. Trout. Ooh, that is quite something. I'm definitely happy with this one. So, got both the daily and the weekly challenge. Let's take a look at the... Uh, Weekly challenge stats. I've played eight so far. 75% win, three current streak. And max streak is uh, also three. And let's take a look at the daily quarter stats. I played 59 so far, 88% win, nine current streak. And my max streak is 17. So that's how quarter looks looks like for today. Thanks for watching and listening. Good luck with your plays. Hey everyone, after that exciting quarter in which I solved both the weekly and the daily, I think it's time to do the mini. So I'm going to reset the play clock. And after the races we go, not many few distinguishing quality uh, trait keeps a bun together I think it's going to be some kind of pin um, you know for hair what is it called uh, the ladies use it I am drawing a blank but it could be also do something with food President Lincoln that will be Abe League with an inaugural 2023 in-season tournament for sure. That's NBA. I know my hoops. Basketball. I'm a believer. Band with the uh, D.O. Oh, it's like from the 1960s and 70s. I'm a believer. I know the modern one, Smash Mouth. But I don't know the old one. Well, I, I, I don't remember it right now. What a humble brag attempts to show but doesn't. Uh, drawing a blank. Method. Abbreviation MTD. Nearly all of its episode titles start the one with uh, Freedom. I'm not exactly sure but that's what makes sense where an airport goes your 
courtroom testifier witness. So forbidden, taboo, borders Nepal and Bhutan, Tibet. John, who plays an Elon Musk like billionaire on a morning show. Oh, John Hamm. I haven't seen this show, but um, but I think I've seen ads. No sweat, easy. Lock opener, key. So what is this? Mo mo oh, it's the monkeys. The monkeys, yep. And modesty. And so that's going to be free. And that's going to be key. Method abbreviation system. I think that's going to be system. But I'm getting this wrong. Oh, I'm also getting this wrong. Keeps a bun together. Hair. H-I-R. Hair tie. Oh, I've solved it in three minutes. How about that exactly? <laughs> that always surprises me. Whenever I solve these, like in exactly two minutes or exactly three minutes, it's just, you know, just uh, strange. Um, and let's take a look. I wonder if I uh, was able to beat uh, 1UP Richard today. No, he did it in a minute 43. Oh, well. A minute 15 yesterday, a minute 33 the day before yesterday. Uh, he always one-ups me. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, so, let's see. 25th, okay. Just want to go over all the clues again. So the, that was hair tie, keeps a bun together. And the group was monkeys, humble brag, modesty, method abbreviation is sis. And what is this? Friends, nearly all of its episode titles. Okay. Friends, yeah. I, I, I did watch one or two episodes um, back in the day. I definitely know the people and... Um, the cast and um, when one of them passed away recently it was sad um, but that's the mini and um, let's move on to the next game and guys time to play Saturday's connection and um, even though it shows Sunday here on, on the screen uh, the New York Times games app they actually published their uh, puzzle, uh, the mini and the regular puzzle uh, crossword like six hours or six or s seven hours before uh, midnight. So that's why you're seeing Sunday here and Sunday here. Um, but I'm going to leave that till, you know, till tomorrow. So I'm going to play the connections in real time. I haven't taken a look at it yet. So here's what I see. So the play clock, and I'm look. I'm seeing channel ninety six number remote sis volume hidden sound noon secret straight amount private quantity mo and canal a canal, and I'm thinking. Um, Ah, thinking remote channel. Remote. Um, so like um, volume, sound, channel. And... Perhaps hidden? I don't know. Or, or a remote key? 
all these uh, show up on a remote. Hmm, I'm iffy. I definitely think channel and volume and sound is going to be there. What else can we see? I'm also seeing straight channel. Um, and here we could have an overlap channel. All to do with water, water terms, water bodies. What could be the, what could be the fourth? Um, yeah, the fourth is sort of hidden here. And then I'm also seeing secret, hidden, private, you know, stuff that's uh, tucked away. I wonder what 96 is, 96. Could it be also remote? No. Wow, lots of uh, possible categories today. And I'm also seeing quantity, amount, number 96. That could be all, all to do with numbers, perhaps. Now, what could noon be? Got noon here and sis. Noon and sis. That could be uh, something that belongs to a purple cat, perhaps. Noon six. It's a mo, M O W. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I think the purple is going to be M O W S I S N O O N and 96. So, either way you look at it, it's going to be M um, O W noon. Uh, these are like mirrors, cis, or, uh, or or what do you call them? Palindromes, ninety six, uh, but like mirror mirrored palindromes, <laughs> um, upside down. If you look at it upside down, um, they're the same. So I'm gonna hit submit on this. I'm pretty sure it has to be the purple cat. Yeah, and it's a purple. It reads the same. Rotated one hundred eighty degrees. Yep, 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 yep. Now I think I can go for volume sound channel and and maybe remote. No, uh, keys on a remote. If that's keys on a remote, then we've got secret, hidden, private, and what's going to be the fourth? No, I'm going to take away remote and instead go with secret, private, hidden, and and um. Straight, I think straight might have a hidden meaning to do with the uh, to do with the same as private secret hidden. I'm not sure. 
and I can also go with amount, quantity, number, and the fourth one would be volume. So these are like um, volume, quantities, amount, quant volume, quantity, amount, number. Of if I go with those, then I can go with private, secret, hidden, and remote. And straight, channel, canal, and sound would be water bodies. I think sound is a water body. I, I think I learned, I think that was something um, that appeared before. So I'm thinking there's a sound that's a water body. Okay, fingers crossed. I'm going to I'm going to press submit on volume, number, quantity, amount. Yes, that's a green. Got it. And I'm going to go with private, secret, hidden and remote I got the yellow secluded straight sound channel canal these are all water bodies I remember sound from a previous game um, so um, connections is definitely helping me learn a lot of new things press submit and I got it perfect I'm going to share my results with my friends. And I got purple first. So that's pretty, that's, uh, they say uh, it's pro, perfect in reverse order. So that's my connections play gameplay for Saturday. Hope you enjoyed it and, and uh, watching and listening it. Good luck with your plays. And I am going to go on to the next game. <laughs> Okay, fam, for the last segment of my Words Possible, it's time to take a look at the spelling bee. And let's see. I found 34 words, which is the second highest level. So that's good. And the last few words that I found were M-I-N-I-M, -I -I minim, minimizing, moon, mini. I think moon is a, an Indian word for a lentil. So that might be tough for many. And minima, I, I, I know. Um, it's just the same as minima. It's the one of the very least possible amounts. Um, but at this point, I'm going to take a look at the B-body clues. So here we go. Here's the grid. I've got six words remaining. I did find one of the two pangrams. So of the six words remaining... There's a pangram out there. Let's take a look at the stats. A couple of grays in the middle and then most towards the bottom. So let's find those ones in the middle. And let's take a look at the G's. Attaching with gooey adhesive. So that's going to be gluing. And dash up the works, preventing something from happening. Um, hmm. Let's get gluing. I wonder if that other one is gumming coming yep it is coming so gumming up the works preventing something from happening found all the eyes found uh, the L's I've got two a ribbon past pasta and junior chef in ratatouille oh is this linguini riding one man toboggan Again. 
Lu ah. I am not getting that, but I'm going to get Linguini. And then the M's. Amusement park rides have a required dash height for all <laughs> riders. Minimum or something like that. Or something similar. I got minimum, but I didn't get minimum. Isn't that crazy? That happens. These mind blocks do happen. It's okay. And let's take a look at the ends. Got all the ends. Let's take a look at the U. There's one U. It's going to be the pangram. Releasing dog or Hannibal Lecter to bite away. Oh gosh, I did get muzzling. It's going to be unmuzzling. See, I got muzzling here, muzzling right there. So it's going to be unmuzzling. And then let's take a look. Let's take a look at the, the Z's. Got all the Z's. So let's get unmuzzling. That's the pangram. Which leaves me with just one riding one man toboggan. That's a tough one towards the very bottom. And that is my, that might prevent me from getting the queen bee for a second day in a row. If you see my stats. Got the queen bee yesterday. Um, this week's been tough. Just one bee. Last week I had three bees. But this week just one so far. And I have a feeling if I don't get this one man. One man. Toboggan. I am not going to get the bee. But fingers crossed, let's hope for the best, and I will update you if I do. If not, thank you for watching and listening. Um, good luck with your plays. Have a great weekend, and always remember to play 20 to 30 minutes of these games whenever you can, preferably daily. Okay, bye for now. Hey, everyone. Guess what? I got the queen bee. Just like a, a few seconds ago, I had the idea that it, it's going to be something to do with luge, L-U-G-E, like, which is a kind of like a tobag sled or, or toboggan. Um, so I thought maybe it's going to be luging, L-U-G-I-N-G, and it turned out to be luging. And see, right after unmuzzling, L-U-G-I-N-G, and... I found all 40 words. And sweet. Okay, that probably didn't come out well, but I did get Lujing. And, uh, and that's going to be a Queen Bee for Saturday, which is going to make, uh, make this uh, what's possible 5 out of 5, which is a wowza. So very, very happy and hope you enjoyed the gameplays and we will be doing one pretty soon, um, perhaps in the morning. I already did connections for Sunday, so um, just four more to go for Sunday. See you. Bye-bye.